The final item of business today is the Members' Business Debate on Motion No. 5218 in the name of Annabel Goldie on Street Stuff. This debate will be concluded without any questions being put, and I would be grateful if those members who wish to speak in the debate could press the request to speak buttons now. I call on Annabel Goldie to open the debate. Seven minutes, Ms Goldie. Thank you, Deputy Presiding Officer. Can I say I'm delighted that this motion has been selected for debate this evening, and I can, th can I thank everyone who has supported it. The Street Stuff project has been operational across Renfrewshire for the last four years. The project is core-funded, managed and coordinated by Renfrewshire Education uh, Council Leisure Services, and it's delivered in partnership with Environmental Services, with St Mern Football Club, Engage Renfrewshire, Strathclyde Police, Strathclyde Fire and Rescue and McGill's buses. And I want to thank and pay tribute to all these partners and also to the main drivers of the project, Councillor Eddie Devine, Stephen Gallagher, the coordinator, who's a St Mern member of staff, Carl Ann Robertson of Environmental Services, and Fiona Watson, the Sport and Health Services Manager for the Council. Now, I think everyone in the Chamber has experienced that thrill of excitement and hope when you come across something completely unexpected which has success written all over it. And I remember vividly my first visit to Street Stuff. It was a rather damp evening in a not very accessible part of Renfrew, and I had been invited to inspect the box. I repeatedly got lost, and I was totally unprepared for the animated, enthusiastic young people who welcomed me with open arms and couldn't wait to tell me about the project and show off the box, which is a fitted out and heated metal shipping container. They told me how proud they were of it, how much they enjoyed being able to meet up with each other, and they entertained me to some song and dance. And their enthusiasm and passion is matched in equal measures by the people I've already mentioned and the other supporters and volunteers whose commitment to these young people is unwavering. My second visit on 7th December on a very cold, frosty night was just as inspiring, and it included visiting the Inshinan bus depot to see the two specially adapted buses. So what is this project all about? Well, Street Stuff is a youth diversionary scheme which aims to give kids in local communities something to do in the evenings, an alternative to hanging around the streets, and it has dramatically helped to reduce youth crime and antisocial behaviour. And let me just give you some of the facts. In Paisley North, incidents of vandalism and youth disorder fell from 3,150 in 2008 to 1,768 in 2011 12. In Paisley South, for the same period, from 2,356 to 998, and in Renfrew and Gallow Hill for the same period from 2,668 to 1,312. Now, I don't know about you, but I call that inspiring and impressive. So how does it work and what happens? Well, working with disaffected and some of the hardest to reach young people aged between 10 and 18 and some of the most deprived areas of Renfrewshire, the project identifies with the local police youth disorder hotspots, engages directly with diversionary activity, informs the young people of the opportunities open to them, supports referrals to the local employment initiative, provides training and volunteering opportunities, encourages the young people to participate in local youth clubs or sports clubs, and deploys a range of mobile equipment, including four mobile football pitches, a youth bus, a gym bus, and the box to which I have referred. And this all happens six nights a week for 48 weeks of the year, with additional facilities during school holiday periods. Now, the box is a multi-purpose entertainment unit kitted out with computer games and dance mats, and the two buses are very impressive, offering IT equipment, computers, Wii game. The gym bus has been fitted out with state-of-the-art gym equipment. Obviously, both are mobile, and McGill's buses both garage and maintain the vehicles and also provide drivers as required. But there is something else. The Kick and Collect programme run by street staff sees youngsters take part in voluntary work in the community, and they are rewarded with prizes. They learn about mutual respect, and they learn about the community. And this is real hands-on community engagement, and it works. The Kick and Collect programme continues to engage with young people who are willing to volunteer in their communities. And in partnership with environmental services, a range of clean-ups, litter picks, and graffiti removals have taken place across Renfrewshire. Each time a young person volunteers for a clean-up or a community activity, their Kick and Collect card is stamped. And once a young person has collected a number of stamps, the card can be redeemed for a reward. 
To date, all rewards have been donated by a number of local organisations and businesses, including Renfrewshire Leisure, Leisure, Escape, Domino's Pizza, Foolish Hills and Showcase Cinema. And these rewards and experiences provide an opportunity to participate in activities that potentially may be out of the reach of very vulnerable young people. Not surprisingly, Street Stuff has been recognised for innovative practice and has received 12 awards over the last 18 months. The project has been cited as a model of best practice within the Scottish Government's publications and it has been shortlisted for a 2013 Cosley Excellence Award. Presiding Officer, Street Stuff is a huge success and I believe the initiative could be rolled out right across Scotland. Street Stuff have told me they'd be very happy to share their experiences. And perhaps the Minister could encourage that and I do urge her to go and see the project for herself. I think she would find it an uplifting and informative experience. Presiding Officer, Street Stuff, I think, is an exemplary um, example of organisations working in partnership with a team of dedicated individuals all committed to making a real difference to young lives and to their local communities. I certainly wish everyone involved with the project the very best for the future, and I do sincerely hope that this initiative could be rolled out across the rest of Scotland. Thank you. I now call Stuart McMillan to be followed by Neil Bibby. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Presiding Officer. Uh, I, first of all, would like to congratulate Annabel Goldie uh, in bringing this motion to the Chamber. The Street Stuff uh, project is an example of the best use of partnership working uh, to deliver positive change within uh, our communities. Um, just, I just want to touch on kind of one point that Annabel uh, mentioned just to, towards the end of her contribution, when she spoke about the potential kind of, well, hopefully kind of getting it rolled out uh, across the country. Uh, and certainly, I, if, th if there is a project uh, that is uh, successful, if there are any kind of areas of, public, of the public sector that are really successful, uh, I am only too happy for that type of uh, work to actually take place. And uh, certainly, I, I, would actually, I would hope, that, uh, therefore, that, uh, that the Renfrewshire Council uh, that they, they take part, uh, well, they put in some uh, information uh, into the Local Government Regeneration Committee, because uh, obviously we are currently undertaking the, an inquiry into public, se public sector uh, reform, and they're going into the Phase 3 uh, part of the inquiry, and I think this actually would be a very useful and worthwhile bit, piece of information for the Council to actually put into uh, to the inquiry. Um, certainly, I mean, the, the, going back to the, the actual street stuff uh, project itself, I mean, the, the youth diversionary scheme is certainly is very popular within Renfrewshire, and also it combines the resources, the skills, and experience of a number of different partners, uh, all working towards uh, one common aim. Now, the project, as I've heard from Annabel Gordy, consists also of the youth bus, the gym bus, the mobile football pitches, and the box, a converted transport container, which provides an area for dance mat sessions, DJ sessions, and chill out zones. The project attracts more than 20,000 young people a year, and also, as we know, it has led to uh, a decrease uh, in youth disorder, dropping between 18% and 50% in each area where it operates. Now, I think that is actually a, a very important point, that, uh, that uh, certainly the MSPs could certainly highlight um, in the areas that we represent. Now, all too often we do hear of uh, the negative stories of young people, youth disorder, etc. But actually, when there are positive things that are going on, it's, it's important that we as parliamentarians, and certainly as uh, councillors, MPs, uh, in, in the areas that we represent, that they actually highlight the positives as well. Because many of our young people actually do tremendous good work in the communities. Uh, and sometimes they don't always get the recognition that they deserve. Now, certainly with this project, it obviously involves a wide range of partners, uh, including uh, the St. Martin Football Clubs, Chocolate Police, Chocolate Fire and Rescue. Uh, and certainly also the initial two buses, the youth bus containing the various PlayStation and Xbox consoles and games and the gym bus, the first mobile youth gym in Scotland. So they were provided by Arriva Buses well, since the takeover by McGill's. Um, the, the buses have, have also had a, a makeover uh, and are now back in the road providing a wide range of diversion activities to young people across Renfrewshire. The support of McGill's adds to the whole partnership approach inherent in the Street Stuff project. Now, Street Stuff was launched under the, under the Investing in the Future initiative in 2009 by the then SNP-led administration of Renfrewshire Council. The project was established as evidence showed uh, some young people were committing acts of antisocial behaviour and violence, partly through gang-related behaviour and partly, allegedly, through boredom. Now, a number of hotspot areas uh, were identified where this project uh, could make the biggest difference. Street Stuff engages 
With these disaffected and hard-to-reach young people through a host of diversion activities such as football, electronic gaming uh, and dance. Uh, and certainly I'm conscious of time, the presiding officer. Certainly, I mean, that, that today, well, the Street Stuff Initiative has been successful in achieving 12 awards, including winning the SPL Best Community Initiative Award with St Burns Football Club uh, for two years in a row. And certainly, for those of you who know, I'm a, I'm a great Morton fan. And for me to give uh, any credibility uh, to St Burns Football Club, it takes a lot, but they deserve it, uh, certainly in this particular case. Um, and uh, also, uh, the, the, the it has also been well cited as a model of best practice by the Scottish Government. Also, the Street Stuff Coordinator won the role, uh, the role model Mentor of the Year at the National Youth Worker of the Year Awards in, in 2012. These are certainly uh, highlight how successful this scheme is. And I certainly want to pay tribute to everyone involved with the Street Stuff project. Uh, as I said, it also was established by the previous SNP-led administration of Renfrewshire Council in 2009. It has went from strength to strength, and I hope it actually continues to go from strength to strength in the future. And uh, so I, I warmly welcome uh, this debate this afternoon. I can pay tribute once again to Annabel Gold for bringing it to the Chamber, and certainly I look forward to it actually being even more successful in the future. Thank you. Thank you. And I call Neil Bibby to be followed by George Adam. Thank you, President Officer. I would also like to start by thanking Annabel Goldie for uh, bringing forward this debate. I think it is a great opportunity for us to highlight the excellent work being done by Street Stuff uh, and the impact it is having on young people across Renfrewshire. I know from speaking to young people in Renfrewshire and across uh, the west of Scotland that they, what they often want is, um, are things to do. I doubt there is a member in this chamber who has not spoken to a young person uh, who has complained about there not being enough um, things to do in their area. And what they want are things uh, that stop them from, from being bored. They want activities that are varied and engaging, and they want activities that are affordable and accessible. And that is why I believe Street Stuff is such a successful project in providing these things to thousands of young people between the ages of 10 and 18 in Renfrewshire um, each year. As we know, the project takes activities out into communities uh, where they would otherwise not be available, delivering for those hard-to-reach, disaffected young people throughout Renfrewshire. Uh, one of the reasons, and has been mentioned already, that the Street Stuff uh, project has proved to be successful is that variety of activities it offers, uh, which is vital when you are trying to keep young people engaged activities, including street football, youth gym sessions, interactive dance mats, DJ workshops and computer gaming, as uh, Annabel Goldie uh, mentioned earlier. And it's also important uh, that these a number of uh, mobile facilities, including a youth activity uh, bus, youth gym bus, and a mobile youth activity unit. In fact, the only complaint I've had uh, ever heard about the street stuff, and it's not really a complaint, but a compliment, is from people who would like it brought uh, to their area as well. This is testament to how popular the project is and how highly it is regarded across Renfrewshire. A key aim of the project is to develop the social and interpersonal skills of young people uh, engaged in the project and to increase physical activity and promote active, healthy lifestyle choices. These are all welcome and help to educate young people and encourage them to build on the skills they already have. The project also provides training and work experience to support young people in, into education and employment. And we've also heard um, one of the main aims of the project is to is for a sustainable reduction in antisocial behaviour and violence in our communities. And it's well, um, its success in achieving this is shown by the reduction in youth crime incidents across Renfrewshire, which has fallen significantly in recent years. And Annabel Goldie mentioned that as well. Well, there is no doubt, as a number of factors have contrib contributed to this, the positive impact street stuff is having uh, on local communities is clear. Um, it is important to recognise, as, as uh, Stuart McMillan has done so as well, that the project uh, has not stood still uh, since it was first launched, but has looked to improve and build on its success. In particular, the Kick and Collect uh, pro programme uh, that Annabel Goldie talked about and, and Stuart McMillan did, which was added in 2011. And I think we should thank St Mirren and other businesses who have provided uh, free tickets for this initiative. Uh, this is a great way to motivate young people to play an active role in improving their local communities, and um, I would I hope that that can be uh, rolled out across the country as well. Presiding officer, I want to conclude by joining members in paying tribute to all those involved in the Street Stuff project for their fantastic work in our local communities. I would also like to thank Councillor Eddie Devine, uh, Stevie Gallagher, Angela Convoy, Fiona Walsh, Carol Ann Robertson at Renfrewshire Council, uh, local area committees and businesses for their invaluable financial support 
Uh, and I want uh, to mention some of the project's partners, including Strathclyde Police, Strathclyde Fire and Rescue, Engaged Room for St Mirren FC and Greek Care College. Uh, Street Stuff relies on core funding and LEC funding. Any reduction in this would mean a direct reduction in the ser services the project is able to offer. So in these challenging financial times, I hope Street Stuff continues to receive the support necessary to ensure we continue to see young people in local communities and across Renfrewshire benefit from the project's excellent work. Thank you. And I now call George Adam. Thank you, President Officer. I'd also like to thank Annabel Goldie for bringing this debate here. My own background with this project goes back to way about, probably about summer of 2008, where as a councillor in Paisley South, I decided to go along and see what was actually happening in the area. And I went uh, every Monday night along mm -hmm. this area. It was an area that I identified as the police as a hotspot for antisocial behaviour in Glenburn. And I went every single uh, Monday night, much to the annoyance of my own wife, uh, but I went along to see this, to see how it worked. And the, the big difference is it's not exactly rocket science how they deal with the young people. It's been done by church groups, uh, faith groups, uh, the BB, the Cubs, the Scouts for years and, and the YMCA for decades. It's the fact that they have the credibility. They're sitting there with their St Murn tracksuit on and uh, the, the coaches are talking to them and they, have the, they may have the same sports uh, qualification as someone who works in social work or education leisure, but they have the credibility that uh, the young person has for them other than the, anyone else would have. And the difference I saw the first time we were there was quite interesting. There was a group of young men up in the, uh, the play park drinking alcohol and uh, they decided to come across to us and talk to us and right away they said to me, big man, which seems to be the term that I get used, it wasn't counsellor, it was big man, uh, if I'd known this was here, I wouldn't have had a drink. Now, the gentleman who was 14 that was talking at the time, at that time, I was just turned 40, I think, and I said to the individual, uh, I says, well, I says, I like a beer as well, but the difference is I'm 14 and you're 40. I said, there's a wee bit of difference here we need to do, move away. So the football made him engage and his friends away from actually doing any antisocial behaviour and on that evening drinking. And they came back week after week. But it's challenging. It's challenging work for these coaches because sometimes these young people can turn up. Let's not kid ourselves. The, the, the social issues are still there. You know, regardless of how good a scheme it is, they have to deal with the social issues and the challenges that are there for them. And there's been various uh, times when young people have turned up uh, and they have obviously been involved with drugs. But the good thing about the project is that the coaches and the people involved in the buses have actually spoke to them, are trained to deal with people, uh, young people in that scenario. And in some cases, they've taken some of the young people and made them actually become volunteers, become involved in the project itself and given them an opportunity to get access to a different way of enjoying themselves locally as well. I would say that when the project was originally set up, it was basically just a case of the then leader, Derek Mackay, leader of Remshire Council, uh, just banging a few heads together. Uh, the ideas were there. It was just getting everybody in the one room to actually discuss the idea. McGill's, or sorry, Arriva had talked about buses for this type of thing. St Mun wanted to do more uh, work within the community, but they were all talking not with each other, but they were all talking about what they could do. And the fact that they've got together, and this has made such a, a difference, in my own council ward at that time, it was a 25% reduction in uh, antisocial behaviour, and that was quite dramatic. And the local, uh, Mr Bibby is quite correct, the local area committees were the prime funders during that area, and I was, a, I was a chair of one of them, and we made sure, but it was cross-party support. Everybody agreed on this, and I can assure you, presiding officer in Renfrewshire, that's quite a radical idea of cross-party support, but everybody could see the benefit uh, that we were making, and Eddie Devine and I shared a council ward, and uh, we knew both of us being big St Murn fans, thought, seen it as a new way of getting a new generation of buddies involved in football. But there's one thing that the Street Stuff programme constantly, and the people involved, like Stevie Gallagher, who runs it for St Murn, who is an absolute legend and brilliant with the children themselves and the young people, they absolutely love him. But one of the things that they say to St Murn constantly is that, you know, we've won more silverware and we have more prizes than the actual Premier League football team has. But in closing, presiding officer, in Paisley, in this year, we actually believe that that can all change. And come March the 17th, St Murn could actually have a trophy in there to go along with the street stuff trophies as well. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, we now turn to the winding up speech from Rosanna Cunningham and... 
if I can ask the Minister to do so in seven minutes, please. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Presiding Officer. Can I say I did think George Adam went rather off topic at the end there, and uh, I will not be following him down the alleyways of uh, football preferences. Um, can I, like other members here, congratulate Annabel Goldie on achieving this debate? I, I know from conversations with her how enthusiastic she is about the Street Stuff initiative, and I think her opening remarks communicated perfectly how inspirational some of, the, inspirational some of these projects uh, can be. So I welcome this debate today, which emphasises the importance of partnership working and actively involving members of the community, even those who may be difficult to reach, in supporting our aim of a safer and stronger Scotland. As Minister for Community Safety and Legal Affairs, I believe that our local communities are our greatest strength and the key to a flourishing, successful Scotland. All members of society of all ages have an important part to play, and that does include young people who, in particular, are absolutely critical in ensuring a positive future for Scotland. Local projects like Street Stuff in Renfrewshire play an important role in offering young people opportunities to develop new interests and skills and diverting them from sometimes harmful and risky behaviour, and we've heard one or two examples uh, of that. And it provides what uh, Neil Bibby recognises as important, uh, and that is interesting activities that young people can access easily, that young people themselves want. Uh, and, of course, that's something that sometimes adults, particularly older folk, it can be a little prescriptive about putting activities out there without actually thinking about whether or not that's what young people want now. Uh, um, it might have been what interested us, but, you know, these days other things are important. And I think it's really, really vital that we do make sure that what we put in place is what young people themselves want. Can I say I'm also glad that Neil Bibby name-checked some of the individuals putting time and effort into making this project work because we sometimes forget that there's a lot of individual personal commitment uh, to, to all of this. If I could say just something about cashback, uh, this government recognises the value of access to quality diversionary activities for our young people, which is of course why we did introduce the unique and innovative cashback for communities programme back in 2007. Uh, basically, it's taking the ill-gotten gains of crime and investing them into community programs, facilities and activities, largely but not exclusively for young people at risk of turning to crime and antisocial behaviour. It, it, one hopes over the years begins to create a more virtuous cycle uh, for this money uh, than where it originated. And the program helps us to create safer communities by providing young people opportunities to get off the streets and into positive activities. Uh, since 2007, uh, over £50 million pounds, uh, recovered from the proceeds of crime has gone back into communities across the length and breadth of Scotland. Over 600,000 young people have benefited uh, and over 11,000 young person volunteers are now putting something back into their communities. And I'm not sure, uh, I'm sorry, which member it was that made that point that some of the young people themselves then graduate into becoming peers and mentors themselves. And that's included investment of over £1.2 million in Renfrewshire and East Renfrewshire, which has benefited over 47,000 young people in these local communities. So I'm delighted that Street Stuff has been one of the local projects to benefit from this investment. And since the start of this project, the Cashback Programme has been a key delivery partner, funding Street Stuff coaches and providing diversionary activities for boys and girls through cashback SFA street football, midnight leagues and schools of football. So we're committed to ensuring the cashback programme continues to support local communities and we will use the proceeds of crime receipts to fund the programme to 2015-16. Now, if I could just say something about No Knives, Better Lives, because this is part of what's been going on as well. Uh, street Stuff has been working in partnership uh, with the, uh, the government's national youth initiative, No Knives, Better Lives. This education and diversion initiative aims to get the message across to young people about the dangers and consequences of carrying a knife, encouraging them to make positive choices. The partnership between Street Stuff, the Cashback Programme and No Knives Better Lives provides a safe, non-threatening environment for young people to discuss issues around violence and knife crime. And this in turn gives them the skills to identify positive alternatives. 
And our approaches and those of our local partners to divert young people away from crime and antisocial behaviour are working. And I think members have already indicated uh, how they are working. But at a national level, recorded crime is at a 37-year low. Offence referrals to the children's reporter have fallen by 66% since 2006-07. And the number of recorded crimes and offences committed by children and young people, that's the 8- to 17-year-old uh, age group, decreased by 32% between 2008-9 and 2011-12. So we can see some very positive impacts beginning to feed through uh, into our statistics and the system. But absolutely, there is always more we can do. The approach taken by the Street Stuff Project and all their local partners is exactly the kind of responsive partnership working that we would expect to see across community planning partnerships in Scotland. This approach to responding to collaboratively to local need with a clear focus on positive outcomes for communities is what this government intends to support under the national priorities for community planning partnerships. So I'd like to thank Annabel Goldie for putting forward this motion and others for their valuable contributions. Stuart McMillan is quite right when he says that it is important that this chamber, MSPs and others take time to recognise the hard work and dedication of local projects and those who lead them, like street stuff, stuff which are having positive impacts on their communities. And George Adam reminded us of the huge challenges confronting some of the young people involved. But despite the challenges, there's often much that we can learn from them. And can I say to Annabel Goldie that I would be only too happy to visit the project. My officials will set that up as soon as possible. Thank you very much. That ends Annabel Goldie's debate on street stuff. And I now close this meeting of Parliament.